After Buzz TV, starting place to the likes of WWE female superstars Kathy Kelly, Sonya Deville, and Zelina Vega proudly presents Women's Wrestling Weekly, the world's first podcast and YouTube series dedicated exclusively to women's wrestling, featuring all the latest news as well as interviews with top superstars in the industry. And now, After Buzz TV's own gorgeous lady of wrestling, TK Trinidad. Bonjour, you're watching Women's Wrestling Weekly, the number one women's wrestling show on the planet. My name is TK Trinidad, aka, AKA the Canadian Assassin. Evan T. Mac uh, Coco Cena is not in with us. He's actually doing some acting stuff. You know, everybody has to make money in Los Angeles, but that doesn't stop us from having an amazing show. So we, are, we of course, have the star of the week. Uh, we're going to, you know, be doing some news here and there, but... We have an amazing, amazing guest, third generation wrestler, Lucha Underground wrestler, with huge appearance, WOW announcer. I am pleased to welcome Shal Guerrero. Hi. Oh Thank my you. gosh, hi TK. I am so, like, you guys don't even understand the behind the scenes. I'm just like happy when like, it, there's a success in time, you know, time difference and all that stuff. So thank you so much for coming on the show. Oh, I'm honored. Thank you so much for having me. I can't believe I'm here. You guys, the studio is so kick-ass. I'm so excited to oh. definitely have a little chit-chat with you. Oh, well, thank you. Well, let's get into it. So um, let's just dive into it. So Lucha Underground. Yes, it, it, filmed, it happened. It <laughs> happened. It filmed in February, because I remember when the filming was going on here in L.A. And, mm -hmm. you know, we thought we had all the surprises and, you know, just, the, you know, the stuff that Lucha Underground does. And then all of a sudden you pop up. What's... How did this all come about? Oh my God. Well, I mean, you know, I've always like had an eye on Lucha Underground, especially ever since I left WWE. Mm -hmm. But I mean, honestly, I had an agent and he hooked me up with Krista Joseph and, uh, you know, he was fantastic. And he knew my mom because he was a writer for WWE for a while. Right. And he's like, yeah, we've wanted you on the show for a long time, but we didn't know you were interested. Uh -huh. And I'm over here like, yeah, dude, like, let's, let's do this. And so it was that simple. And, you know, of course I had Chavito there. And so it was, I knew a lot of people there already and it was very much like a homecoming yeah. and it was a wonderful atmosphere. I can't believe that it's, that it finally aired. I was waiting every single week, it's you know, crazy. watching, watching and just waiting for, for the, for the bomb to drop if yeah. you will. And so but it's been fantastic. The timing is great. But so what's happening to another friend of the show came on here, Melissa Santos. So do you know what the new storyline is going to be? <gasps> My lips are sealed. <sighs> but honestly, I am so honored to even have been in the same position as Melissa to be, you know, the ring announcer uh -huh. for, you know, the remainder of the finale. I, I'm so honored. And Melissa is so awesome. And so I just, uh, I can't believe that I got to be able to fill that role. And I love announcing. Not a lot of people know that about me. Yeah. So I, I'm, yeah, I'm blown away that I even got to be in that position. So that means your lips are sealed. So that obviously means that the next season you're going to be in there. And there is a story that you know of that you can't tell us. Maybe. Just, oh, girl, you're good. Yeah, Ooh. I mean, I've had a lot of <laughs> no, Lucha Underground No, I can't folks. say anything. And honestly, we, a lot of the times on Lucha Underground, are just as surprised. Right. Because we don't, I never got to see the finished product. I just went out there and I was like, okay, I'm going to go be a little badass. Right. And then we'll see what happens. Yeah, badass for real. The whole, Thank the, you. everything, it, it was just, it was just a beautiful <laughs> end. A beautiful kick-ass end to it. And then on top of that, Thank I mean, you. your name popped into the whole zeitgeist again um, in September with WOW. And you being the announcer for WOW. So, yes. I mean, how did that all kind of come about? Well, it's crazy because they're so connected. Um, you know, I had David McLean. Well, I didn't have him here have him at Lucha Underground, but he happened to be at the Lucha Underground taping that I happened to be at. I was only there for two days. Uh -huh. Lucha Underground tapes for a long time. Right. And uh, our paths happened across. And when he heard me announce, he didn't see me or anything. He just heard me. Mm -hmm. And he was like, who is that person? I need her to announce for wow. And then he found out, oh, I'm a Guerrero, you know. Oh, yeah. Makes trip. sense. Yeah, pretty much. And it just ended up falling in everything fell into line beautifully so yeah oh so so when you were announcing for lucha that's when david heard you yeah that's what he was backstage in oh. you know in the production room and he was like oh like who is this and then they're like oh yeah that's shawl guerrero and he was like i didn't know she announced and so yeah and it's crazy because you know pretty much every almost every i think female entertainer in our industry has gone through the announcing right 
phase. Like, they make you do it when you go train for WWE uh-huh. forever yeah, until they're like, okay, you can wrestle now. Yeah, Brandy so, was talking about, uh, saying about, uh, talking about that, yes. too. And now we yes. did, we were talking, like, before the show started, how, like, I was looking everywhere to see if there's any um, hints at you being in the show. And now that you said that, I do remember, like, when the, the, everybody's recounting how you got into WOW, they said David heard you announcing, but nobody put it together. So I know. to that writer for not picking it up, I guess. I don't know. But Well, when I was talking with David about like our press li- release we were going to um, hand out for a while, you mentioned Lucha Underground, and I was like, yeah. I don't know if we can do that. But then because MGM is a, you know, a universal partner, it ended up being okay. Yeah, nobody, nobody picked it up. Everybody was still very, very surprised. Um, so any other, like, you know, any other promotions you're planning to just drop into? Honestly, right right now I have my sights set on, you know, just being at WrestleCon this year and getting that done. I have a lot of different things going on in my life. Mm-hmm. Uh, I love that wrestling is definitely in my life again, and I'm so happy about that. But I'm also an entertainer here in Chicago. I'm also, I also work full time. And so there's a lot of things going on. So my life kind of comes in seasons with what I do. Okay. So. But WrestleMania weekend slash WrestleCon, that's my next okay. gig, okay. if you will. I see I, I, I see how you're placing things, so we'll, 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 we'll just leave that alone for, for now. Um, now, you did say you are an entertainer. I mean, family of entertainers. You burlesque. How did you get oh, into yeah. that? <laughs> how did you I'm get, sorry? How did you get into it? Oh, my God. Okay, well... When I was in Orlando, Florida uh, with my husband, we both were there for WWE NXT, uh, the performance centers down there, and we stayed down there uh, even after I uh, left WWE, and I started performing in a stunt show. And so through that, I ran into a girl that did burlesque. I've been a dancer for years, Uh and she's like, you should just try it. And I did, and I fell in love with it. And when we moved to Chicago, I didn't realize what huge hub it is here. Right. Like, it's huge in Chicago. And I was like, you know, screw it. Let's get out there, you know? So, yeah, yeah now I, I'm a burlesque entertainer here in Chicago as well. Yeah, I saw your Instagram, the burlesque. I'm seeing, like, you, this is going to sound t- totally terrible, but in a good way. Working the pole. Like, you're Hell doing yeah. Some, you're doing, <laughs> like, these tricks. And it's like, because I did pole dancing, two, I did two classes just randomly. Yes. And it's a lot of work. So it is. People don't realize the strength it takes. And it like these girls make it look so easy. And I'm just like, no, it is hard to look graceful and like hold your entire body weight. And like, you, you know, yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> um, now, is there anything entertainment wise that you uh, want to get into or at least try that you haven't done thus far? Oh, my God. Yes. I want to do a movie really bad. I want to do more acting. Mm-hmm. I've done a lot of uh, theater, both in Orlando and I've gotten into it here in Chicago, Mm -hmm. Uh, but I really would love to go into film and TV. That is really where I would love to be. Okay. I mean, you definitely have the the talent for it, obviously. Oh, thank you. Let's get into, so, some WWE stuff. Obviously, you you started in WWE. Uh, There's a little bit of a storyline, so for you guys who don't know, your husband's Aiden English. So, there's a (laughs) storyline with Aiden and Lana and Rusev, the whole Milwaukee (laughs) thing. And it was so interesting because I think we had just, we, I think there's coming off a wow, and we just made you our star of the week. So, like, I had some research on you, and I'm like, wait a minute. How does she feel about that? I mean, obviously, that didn't happen. But, like, what was your, when you, were you told about it before it happened? And, you know, when you saw it, what was your whole feeling about it? I was told about it. Uh, you know, Matt is really wonderful with keeping open communication with me. And uh-huh. so he did it you know, surprise me or anything, which is nice, you know, but growing up in entertainment and, you know, I mean, God, my mom had these crazy. You know, yeah. Yeah. You know, <laughs> like she, she kind of dropped a bomb on me when she did the thing with edge where she was like, Oh yeah, I just kissed him. And we're me and my sister were like, Oh, okay. And then we're, we're watching it and we see this make out and we're like, Oh Lord. Like that, that was a bomb, a a bomb drop a little bit. And so Matt definitely prepared me and it was really, it was still a little uncomfortable. Uh I'm not going to lie to see the, the innuendo of it. I was just like, Oh, okay. You know, and Lana is a stunning woman. She is absolutely stunning. So I'm not going to lie that there was a little, uh, how do I, how do I put this? A little jealousy, just a little bit. I was just like, Oh, okay. See, because this is what brings me to, you know, possibly WrestleCon and WrestleMania and your ties with WWE. 
I mean, mm -hmm. it just, and your husband is currently in WWE. It just seems like there would be, it's just the time is now for you to, you know, make your return back. So has there been any talks with anybody? Uh, you know what? When, when it comes to WWE, it's, uh, you know, I always get the question on social media a lot where it's like, you know, why don't you come back? And it's not really my decision right. <laughs> if I want to come back. It's theirs, you know, and of course, I would love it if, you know, WWE saw my stuff with WoW, saw my stuff with Lucha, and saw my potential to manage and announce and do anything I can. WWE will always be my family. Mm -hmm. I, you know, my dad and mom were with them more than they were with us. Right. So, you know, that is definitely home. It always will be. I love them, and I appreciate them for everything they did for me. Mm -hmm. So, and for my husband. So, I mean, I'm here. <laughs> You know, I, I'm not going to say no. Okay. So you're just <laughs> waiting for them to just give you a call and you're pretty much, you're good to go. Yeah, of okay. course. You All know, right. I, I never want to overstep, but I also, you know, wrestling is a part of me and I can never, ever deny that. Oh, for, I mean, it's in your blood. Now, getting back to your husband, um, how did this relationship start? Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Okay. All right. <laughs> um, you know what? When it's, it's actually kind of funny because we met when I was first at FCW, and I was there before him. Uh -huh. And, you know, I, I thought I was hot shit. You know, I was FCW champion, and I was queen of FCW, and uh -huh. I was like, okay. Um, and he showed up, and he was just the opposite of what a wrestler would look like. You know, my husband's build is different. Yep. And he's this pale Irish kid and mm -hmm. he plays music and theater geek. And I was, and when he first came in, I was like, ew, who's the pale kid? <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, but I mean, when I came back to WWE after I went to rehab, uh, you know, he, you know, was this confident man and he was so nice. And we lived in the same apartment complex. Oh, and wow. he was always offering to help me with anything I needed. He was like, do you need a ride? Do you need anything? And that blossomed into flirting. And then the moment we went on our first date, we just haven't stopped being with each other. And yeah, the rest is history. Nice. So did you ask him if he was already like planting the seeds when he was saying, hey, I can, if you need anything, I can help you or? Did well, he said he had a crush on me back in FCW when oh, I was nice. not very nice. Uh, he said he always had a crush on me because every, I'm, I don't know if you guys know, but in back at FCW, we have promo day with Dusty Rhodes. Right. And, uh, you know, he always admired me because I would do these really funny promos and I wasn't like scared to be ugly. I wasn't scared to be, you know, to dress like a dude and do right. like a, a promo. And, you know, he always admired that. And then I definitely, once I got to know Matt, I thought he was way cooler than me. And I was, Aww. you know, he, he's a catch. So okay. I'm very blessed. And how did the proposal happen? <laughs> um, so at the time I was a veterinary technician and I came home from this awful day at work and I was like honey I have to go to the store will you come with me he always comes with me to the store oh nice and he was he was like no nah, I'm good uh, and I was like okay and I was like really pissed off about it and I was like I'll be back in an hour <laughs> and he like rushed upstairs lit 416 candles for every day we've been together and I get home and he was like, hey, I wanted to give you your Christmas present early because I know you had a hard day. And I was like, oh, okay, all's forgiven, we're good. And he takes me upstairs and I, as I'm walking upstairs, it gets hotter and hotter <laughs> and hotter. And he, he was so sweet. He like got in a nice outfit for me and he got on one knee and, oh. you know, and I, of course I said yes. And then the fire alarm went off and then we fanned the smoke out of the apartment and had a wonderful night. So. Oh my gosh, that is so romantic. I love he it. did good. He really did. He did amazing. <laughs> That's stuff that like guys, I think I was watching something and um, the guy, he said, you know, that's not, guys don't go on one knee anymore. Like, that's for, like, old people. So, no. I mean, that's romantic. I love it. Well, that and, like, Matt was, Matt even, you know, my dad, of course, we know he's passed away. And mm -hmm. my, uh, Matt went to Tucson to ask my uncle, my closest uncle, if he could marry me. And <gasps> so Matt is very traditional, and he did a really good job. <laughs> And then, so what's the whole, um, like, the relationship with the family? Your Matt, your mom, the whole thing, is he, is he all in? <laughs> oh, oh yeah, he's in. He, he's in pretty, you know, he still has to have his uh, Guerrero initiation. Oh, what is uh, that? You, 
the Guerrero initiation yeah. into the family. Um, it has to do with shots of tequila. Okay. Um, fireman's carry and a lot of spinning. So, <laughs> yeah, that's the Guerrero initiation. He hasn't had that yet because we haven't been able to really, um, you know, get to go to California that much to be with my Uncle Chavito. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I'm sorry about that. I had a call come in. <laughs> um so he hasn't had that yet, but with my mom, like she she puts him through hell. My mom is constantly teasing him all the time, and it's a really fun relationship. For yeah, sure. your mom looks like the fun, like the the fun mom that like you can laugh at. There's a lot of memories, but it's one of those like oh, yeah. all slight embarrassments. Like okay, yeah, she's my mom, but I still love her. She looks like that type of mom. She is. Oh yeah, you peg her like. 100 percent yeah she loves to tease me and my sister and she's hilarious and her current you know teasing uh situation is when are we gonna have grand when is she gonna have a grandkid on the way and that is pretty much been the constant for the past two years well i mean there's a legacy it's there's a lot of pressure on you yeah i guess so man <laughs> <laughs> but she can wait she can wait until i'm, I'm good and ready <laughs> okay so now um you did mention that you have uh, not only are you doing wow lucha underground Wrestlecade, um, full-time job. Can you tell us what's, yeah. what's, what you're doing? Yeah, I actually live this double life. I am I'm an assistant manager at a boutique here in Chicago. And yeah, I just, I literally just got thrown into that last week. Mm -hmm. uh, we had our other manager leave in the middle of holiday season and we're like, oh my God. And they're like, okay, you're promoted. So <laughs> I, I'm, yeah, I'm I'm trying to live that that boss bitch life right now. So yeah, I mean, secure the bag. That's all you can. That's all you can really, really. Yeah, do. yeah. You know, we gotta have benefits. You know, you gotta get that money coming in. Oh my gosh, especially <laughs> for the holidays. So now, what is your favorite part? We're gonna break it down. So, what's your favorite part as far as announcing? Oh God, you know what? Um, I can tell you my least favorite part. Okay. Getting into the ring, because yeah, the dress. it is inevitable. You get the woo. Every time, you know, one the of us flashing. bends over to get in the ring. Mm -hmm. God bless it. Um, no, but my favorite part, you know what? It's definitely the looks I get to share with the girls as they're both in the ring or who, with whoever. Mm -hmm. um, you know, because you just, you have this brother-sister relationship or sister-sister relationship, especially at WOW. You know, when I have Jessica Havoc in the ring, you know, she's a dear friend and, you know, she's this beast and this monster. And But I can't help but look at her and be like, you know, that's my sister, and we yeah. just always have a funny, goofy look, and we're trying to hide it from the camera. So th those are my favorite moments, you know, when I have my I have my friends in there. Nice. And it's fantastic. And now what can people look for for WOW? Because I was there, I think I, I believe I was there for two days. I popped in for both those days. So what can people look for? Because, I, I mean, I try not to give away all the, the stuff, but it's amazing. I think everybody should at least, you know, give it a chance, watch it. But is there any, yes. like, moments that you saw or anything that you taped behind scenes that it's like, you guys should definitely watch this? Oh, my God. You know what? Like, I admire Tessa Blanchard so much. I love watching her in the ring and she's just, she is a fireball, you know? Mm -hmm. And like, and I look up to her so much. She is one of the examples of what I wanted to be if my body could handle wrestling yeah. as much as, you know, she's killing the game right now. But like, I love watching her and she's so intense. You guys have to watch WOW because you have to see this amazing storyline between her and Jungle Girl, mm -hmm. you know, and Havoc. Oh, my God. I, I'm so excited. And sometimes I forget because I'll be, you know, behind the announcer's desk and I'll be just watching like, oh, my God. Yeah. And they're like, you have to announce now. And yeah. I'm like, oh, okay, yes. <laughs> <laughs> but usually I get carried away and I, I love watching it. And we have so much great talent out there. The Beast. Uh, yeah, the Beast. <laughs> Yes, the Beast. She's like she she's fantastic, and I love Lioness uh -huh. too. Like she came out, and I was just like, "Who is this girl?" Yeah, and you know, there's just so much budding talent there. I'm so honored to be a part of that, and I'm so thankful to David McLean for giving me this opportunity. So now, so, has there been any mention as far as getting ready for the next season? Oh yeah. Oh, we're ready. We're we're ready, okay. and we're already like gearing up for you know knowing we're gonna. I'm gonna be flying out to LA, and I'm already telling my job. I'm like, yo, I'm gonna be gone for a week. Bye. Oh, hey, gotta so. do what you gotta do. And I mean, you have to fly out for Lucha Underground too, right? Yeah, you know, it's like I, I love that I'm kind of splitting my time between Chicago and LA. I get mm -hmm. the best of both worlds. So now, as far as wrestling, what what's the things that you like about wrestling? Oh God, it's so fun. You know, like you you get to like fight with your friends, and it's just. It's always been challenging, and with wrestling, I know 
my first, my, my bigger talent is on the mic. My bigger talent is character work and mm -hmm. I'm fine with that. That's, you know, what my mom and dad gave me and I'm proud of it. Right. You know, um, God, if my body could handle it, I would love to wrestle. Mm -hmm. And, but it's more of the psychology. The psychology is really hard to get for me. Mm -hmm. Uh, but God, I just miss like being around the people because, you know, you could run a spot <laughs> in, in the back, you know, real yeah. quick and, you know, just screw around with everybody. And I just miss that camaraderie and it's hard when I'm an announcer and I just want to be able to get in with the girls and roll around. And, yeah. You know, that's hard to have that separation now. Well, I mean, there's always like, you know, Indy's little mixture of both. You never know. Yeah. I mean, when Lucha was like, Hey, can you hit your three, the three amigos? I'm like, Fuck yes, <laughs> like definitely. And so, it, any chance I can get physical, I will. Mm -hmm. um, you know, but I also am trying to keep that good balance, balance. to because I want to have kids one day. Yeah. And I want to be able to run around with them, and I don't want to have a you know a screwed oh. up neck. Oh yeah, for sure. Now speaking of the Lucha Underground, how did you feel? Because when you guys, you and your uncle slash cousin, were in the <laughs> ring. Like, the pop was crazy. Like, I know I was like, oh, my gosh, and I was, like, watching TV. So what was that What was that feeling like when, like, you're there and everybody's just, like, just giving you so much love? It was so overwhelming. It was so humbling. Um, I might, sorry if I get emotional. No, um, not at all. That's everything I wanted to do for my dad. And I know I can't wrestle the way I want to, but in that you know, two minute segment, I felt like I got to be that mm -hmm. finally, what I always wanted to be, you know, I got to be his daughter. I got to bring honor and I'm so thankful to, for Chubby though. Cause he looked out for me the entire time. Um, and I think he would have been proud. And I, I love the entire Lucha, like the Lucha underground believers. Mm -hmm. They're fantastic. And they made me feel so welcome. I was terrified TK. I was like, I'm gonna watch out and no one, everyone's gonna be like, who's this bitch? I don't know her and like and that's fine but like you know everybody um you know Antonio Antonio Cuarto like he like made a wonderful introduction for me and everybody just really like handled this situation delicately and with so much respect and beautifully for my dad and yeah. so I'm so humbled that's all I can say like they made me feel amazing yeah I mean I'm like getting goosebumps too it's like it's always when you're when you're part of a legacy that you can see and you have the privilege to see. Like I, was, um, I also cover um, Total Divas, and the last episode was talking about Natty and her father. And yeah. it's like when you, when you, when you, when you have that honor that you can see the generations, and you can, and it's visual, and then everybody else is a part of it too. And then yeah. you yourself could take part of it. It's definitely like I'm like getting goosebumps for like for you. Like I, I, I totally understand what you're saying. But that yes. pop was. So excited for you guys! And I'm well, that and it was one. just like it was so much louder in the arena because the the arena Lucha Underground House is fantastic has is fantastic, and so it was deafening. It w it was really fantastic, and everyone was with us the entire time. There was never a dull moment, a never never a moment of weirdness, and like you know, famous B. Oh yeah. Uh, you know, <laughs> with. I won't get into it with Famous B, but I'm also very thankful to, th to Famous B for working yeah. with us, and he's fantastic. So, so what? Um, what were you gonna say? No, he's just—he's a fantastic talent, and yeah, uh, you know, I, I was honored to work with him as well and to kick his ass. He's an interesting one. What was? Yes. Was there like a conversation between you and Chavito? Like, before oh, you um, went back? as far as before? Yeah, before you guys went into the ring. Yeah, you know, um, definitely. You know, we just—we really wanted to. Chavito wanted to make sure I, I was feeling really comfortable with everything. And, you know, I ran the three amigos. I can't tell you how many times, you know, just making sure it was in my body again. Mm -hmm. But then, God, the first time I hit them backstage, I was just like, like, th this will never leave me. <laughs> I will always have the, the hip swivel. Yeah. It's just, it's just <laughs> in me. Uh, no, but he was just making sure, you know, that I, I felt real confident and, you know, Chavita's always taken care of me. Yeah. Uh, ever since I was in WWE, he always took care of me. He taught me how to be aggressive. You know, I think he really took me under his wing the way my dad would have. Cause I remember, you know, I used to have stern talks with him, you know, when he would watch me wrestle and he would be like, you know, yeah, Guerrero, you know, you gotta be like aggressive, aggressive, aggressive. And, yeah. So he always looked out for me, and I appreciate Vito forever. Oh, nice. Um, now, is there something that you could, if you can talk to your 19-year-old self when you started WWE, 
with all the information that you have now, is there anything that you would say, not necessarily change, but anything that you would say to yourself at that, at that point in time? Be patient. <laughs> I wanted to, I, I, I'm like this just in life. You know, I have very high expectations of myself. I think that's a Guerrero thing. Mm -hmm. we, we just hold, e hold each other. We hold ourselves to a stupid high standard that is probably unattainable. Um, and I, I would have told myself to just calm down and just do my best and stop worrying about everything and to know that I was everything I needed to be at that point. Mm -hmm. Like, I didn't need to try and be anything other than what I was. I wish I would have told myself to love my body more, mm -hmm. uh, to know I don't have to change it. I don't have to look, you know, I, I wanted to look like, like these women I idolized for so long. And I'm just not like that, okay? Mm -hmm. I like my hot Cheetos and <laughs> I like my curves and I'm not gonna kill myself over a diet. Um, I, I'm just not built like that. Yeah. And, um, and that's okay. That doesn't mean I didn't have any less passion than anybody else. And so I think I just would have told myself to chill out yeah. and to be kinder to myself and uh, to just go with my gut more. You know, like, I, that's what I think WWE for. They, that's what I think Dusty Rhodes for. Mm -hmm. He ignited that. He believed in me when I didn't. And that's, I think that was what I was missing when I was there. I didn't believe in myself the way, you know, he did and the way I should have. And now um, you did kind of touch on it a few times about the, the eating disorder. And obviously you came, came through that. Is that something that you deal with over, like, the rest of your life? Or is that something that, like, you, you've taken care of and that's your past and you've learned from it and you've moved on? Oh, God. No, I still deal with it every day. Okay. Um, you know, especially I think that's what drives me to burlesque, too, mm -hmm. is this is, like, the, that is the ultimate activity that stares my eating disorder right in the face. And it makes me love myself. Yeah. And, um, but yeah, I still deal with it. I'm a lot better now. Thank God. I, I'm cool with balancing and sometimes I don't balance very well. Yeah. You know, I'm, I'm not perfect. Nobody is. Uh, I can't diet. It's just, it's, it's just an automatic trigger for me mm -hmm. where I just go head into I head right into that eating disorder and it's bad. So I have to just be balanced and love myself and that's all I can do. I will be dealing with it for the rest of my life. And but I, I'm, I know how strong I am now, so I've got this. I mean, you sound. I mean, your, your, your family, the legacy, the confidence, it's all there. And I mean, you look amazing. <sighs> if you guys haven't seen her Instagram, go on their Instagram. Um, before I even like made contact, it was like, damn, this girl takes some really hot pictures. Like, you got your, your, <laughs> your, your thirst traps are on point on Instagram. Just you know, just saying, it's, you know, very I appreciate it. So oh, thank you. Definitely check thank out her. You. Just uh, what's your Instagram, just in case people don't have it. It's S H A U L Y G Shali G. And yeah, um, check it out. Now, also, we did talk a little bit about WWE. So, are you in talks with or have you? Do you still speak to people from WWE? I mean, yes, not in a business, uh, not, not anything relating to business, but I mean, Mark Perano has taken care. You probably have seen him on Total Divas. Yep. <laughs> he's, he's an interesting uh, character. Mark Perano is a dear friend. He, he looked out for my dad. He looked out for my mom. He looked out for me and he still does. Uh, you know, we, you know, I have my mom. Mom is, you know, in and out of WWE, you know, mm -hmm. you saw our evolution Yep. and uh, yeah, of course. And then I have friends, you know, still, and um, I still text the boys sometimes when I think of funny promos we did back at FCW and I'm just like, Oh my God. And, uh, but yeah, I, I have a lot of ties. I have good friends, you know, Paige is a good friend of mine. And so is, uh, Alexa bliss and we check in with each other and make sure we're all good. So oh, nice. yeah, I mean, the, the storyline is just there already. I mean, I, I've, I've, you know, I, I, I also cover Raw and sometimes SmackDown um, for After Buzz, and the women's storylines are just sometimes not there, but you already have a built-in storyline with your mom, with your husband, with the, just the connection. I mean... I know. I, I, I look at it, too, and I'm just... And sometimes I get that, that fire in my underbelly, and I'm just like, oh, we could do this, so we could do that, awesome. we could do this. Yes. But, like, you, you know, it, you know, everything happens in good time, yeah. and I believe the universe will let everything fall into place. Yes. And I would love to think that my journey with WWE is not over. So I'm still young. Let's do this. Oh, yeah, for sure. I definitely have the same thing where I want to do everything, like, now, now, now. So patience yes. is my thing, too. But it's just like, oh, my God, I can see it. But, you know, say, say la vie. We'll, 
we'll take the time, but definitely I, I see it's going to happen sooner than later, hopefully. Um, so now we're going to go into uh, rapid hot tags. So I'm going to ask you a few questions. You're going to say uh, what's uh, the first thing that comes to your mind. So DJ, oh, God, okay, tone. let's do this. You guys are about to get to know me a little bit. All right. Women's Wrestling Rapid Hot Tags. All right, so here we go. Always early or always late? Always late. Last person you text? Mom. Uh, what is the one thing you love about yourself? Uh, my eyes. Dream dinner guest? My dad. Who would play you in a movie? Melissa Rodriguez. Ooh, Disney or Universal Studios? Disney. <laughs> um, <laughs> last show you binge watched? Oh, God, uh, Jeopardy. If you were a crayon, what color would you be? Black. Favorite junk food? Hot Cheetos. If you can listen to one album for the rest of your life, what album would it be? Uh, anything pretty reckless. And it, um, who would you be, who would you have your dream, ma dream match with, dead or alive? My dream match with, oh, my dad. Oh my, that would be awesome. Um, if you were on death row, what would be your, what would be your last meal? Oh God, uh, definitely pancakes with steak. And if you can sum up your wrestling career in one word, what would it be? Epic. Boom, see? That wasn't that bad. No, it was fun. <laughs> the music, I, was, I get you, uh, you know, going as well. But thank you so much. Um, I know, I, you know, just so you know, you remain with your job at Lucha Underground. I know I can't press that, but I know the storyline for that's going to be crazy. Um, for you guys who haven't seen WoW, or for you guys who, when WoW does come out, January 19th, definitely mm -hmm. check it out. Your dresses are on point. I saw you. Thank you. <laughs> the storylines are great as well. And then um, let's, uh, where can people find you? As far as the burlesque, is there like live shows that you do in Chicago? Like can people see you? Or is... Yeah, yeah, definitely follow me at Vaudettes. We have an Instagram and also a Twitter. That is the showgirl group I am in. Also, you can follow me on Instagram at, at Miss Nixon. Nixon is N-Y-X-O-N. That's my burlesque name. Okay. And then uh, on Twitter, it's Guerrero underscore Shawl. Yeah, that's where you can find me. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited for you. 2019 is going to be like your year for sure. Like it's going to be hot. Everything else, it's going to be hot. So thank you so much for coming on the show. We really, really appreciate it. When you're in Los Angeles, come on in. We'd love to have I you. Will. You know, guest co-host. You are officially now a friend of the show, by the way. It's a, it's a oh. big thing. For the show. It's a little thing that we do. And usually when you become a friend of the show too, anything that you say on the show, usually happens. So we've had people say that they want to go to Impact. We had people say that they want to go overseas, and it <gasps> happens. So I'm just saying, you know, we put a couple storylines together while we were doing this show, so you just never know. I personally want to All see right. you beat up Lana, like, backstage somewhere, just, you know. Oh, uh, that wouldn't be the worst thing in the world, TK. <laughs> that would be, the visuals are crazy. <laughs> um, thank you so much. Happy holidays. And Happy holidays. Thank you so much, TK. No I'm problem. so humbled to be here. Thank, thank you. Thank you so much. All right, have a good one. You too, love. All right. So, for you guys, like I said, definitely um, check out After Buzz TV on uh, YouTube. If you're not a subscriber, make sure you subscribe. On uh, Instagram and um, Twitter, you can go to WPW Weekly, of course. Uh, we definitely have a lot more shows geared up for you guys. Evan T. Mack, check him out on Instagram. Tony B. Buzzin, where can they, where can they find you? Hello, hello. Yes, you can find me everywhere at Tony B. Tony underscore. That's T O N Y, the letter B, T O N Y underscore. Thank you so much, TK. No problem. Thank you. Tony's the one in the booth keeping everything together, making sure that, you know, the show looks pretty because, you know, without him, it would just be us in on a couch in a room somewhere, and that just doesn't look good. Uh, on iTunes, make sure you give us five stars or better. We definitely appreciate your comments. We love your comments. Um, other than that, we know there are a lot of wrestling podcasts out there. There's way too many. Um, but we appreciate you guys for watching it. Without you guys, we wouldn't be the number one women's wrestling show on the planet. And we will see you guys next week. Ciao. Executive producers Kevin Undergaro, Maria Menounos, 